Hello students, in today's lecture, we will study about the experiment of finding the specific resistance of a given wire with the help of Carrie Foster's bridge. Please subscribe to the channel in order to avail other benefits related to your study material. Okay, now what is the aim of my experiment? Aim is to determine the specific resistance. We symbolize it as rho uh, of a given wire. Whichever wire has been given to me in the lab, it can be nichrome also by Carey Foster's bridge. What all setup do I require for this? I require a Carey Foster bridge, which I can see here in front of me. A Leclanchy cell, which is consisting of a zinc rod and carbon electrode. Plug keys, the keys kept here, resistance boxes, one, two, three. Specimen wire, which will be given to me, screw gauge to find the radius of the given specimen wire, a galvanometer to study the variation of current, jockey and connecting wires. So, carry foster bridge. This is how my experimental setup looks like. These are my resistance boxes. Suppose I have to introduce a resistance of 1 ohm, then I will take out this key. If I have to introduce a resistance of 0.2 ohm, then I'm going to take out this key. And that much resistance will get introduced into my circuit. This is a Leclanchy cell where zinc is the negative electrode, carbon is the positive electrode. This is a galvanometer. The red point here is my positive one and black is the negative. This is, we check the null deflection because Carey Foster bridge is based on wheat stone bridge principle. The zinc rod which we, and this is the carbon electrode. This is all what my setup looks like. What is the formula I will be using here? The resistance X of a conductor is directly proportional to its length and inversely proportional to its area. When we remove the sign of a proportionality, we have to introduce a constant. So specific resistance rho is equal to X into area pi r square where r, r is radius of the wire which I have to find the specific resistance and L the length of the given wire. Which principle is Carey Foster Bridge based on? It is based on the principle of Wheat Stone Bridge. What is the Wheat Stone Bridge principle? Wheat Stone Bridge principle states that when the ratio of resistances in opposite arms is equal, the galvanometer connected shows null deflection. Now, the very first thing is that I have to make a circuit diagram. So, comparing this given circuit diagram with the setup I have been given, A, B, I begin with it. A, B terminals, I will connect a resistance box here. From the A terminal, I will connect a one-way key. The other end of one-way key will go in the positive of my battery and the negative of battery will get connected to the C point here. And between B and C also, I will connect a resistance box. And in the mid key here, I am going to connect my galvanometer. Other end of galvanometer, I am going to connect a jaw key. So after connecting this circuit, my complete setup with the galvanometer, here this is the jaw key which has been connected to the galvanometer. My setup after connecting will look like this. This is what has been given to me and I have managed to connect it accordingly. The resistance boxes, the Leclanchy cell, the one-way key, the galvanometer and the jaw key which will help me in finding the null deflection and I will take readings on this scale. All readings will be taken from one side of the scale where I have to find the distance at which I get the null point. At null point position, my galvanometer will be showing zero deflection. What does my observation table look like? Observation table consists of two tables in this experiment. In the 
first table, I will take resistances in the P and Q arms as one ohm each and one arm I am going to short and the other arm I will vary the resistances and find the null point. At whatever distance I get the null point, I will note it in this column. Then I am going to short the other arm, connect the X arm here and find the distance D2. Rho will be equal to X upon mod of D1, D2. If it comes negative, no issue. Mod means positive and X is this much resistance. So we begin with the experiment. X 0.3 ohm, 0.6 ohm, 0.9 ohm. Let us see how our resistance boxes are going to look like when I introduce. See, for 0.3 ohm, I take out 0.1 and 0.2. For 0.6 ohm, I take out 0.5 and 0.1. For 0.9 ohm, I take out 0.5, 0.2, 0.2. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are my three sets of readings which I am going to get. I will slide the jockey on the Carry Foster Bridge, the point where I will get null point. See, PQ11 ohm, X.3 ohm, I get null point at 41 centimeter when I slide the jockey here. And this is one sided. 0.6 ohm, I get it at 37 centimeter. 0.9 ohm, I get it at 32 centimeter. Now for D2, I am going to short the one arm and connect my X resistance in the opposite arm. And I get my null point. For rho, I find it out as equal to 0.3, this one divided by 47 minus 41. So these three values of rho I obtain. I take out the mean of these three values of rho here. This is how I have got the null points. At this null point, when I have connected it to the jockey, see you can see 32 here, 32 here in this table, I have got null point on the jockey. So this is accordingly, I get my rho. Now what I do, I take the other observation table. In this table, my connections once again, PQ will remain one ohm each. In one arm, I will connect the fractional resistance box and in the other arm, I am going to connect my wire. Here is the specimen wire which I have been given and I have to find the specific resistance of this wire. Now, with this setup, I will once again find out the null points in the left gap and right gap and X is equal to R plus rho, which I found in my previous table, into L2 minus L1. Again, L2 minus L1 will be mod. So, resistance is introduced in the decimal resistance box, 0.3 ohm, 0.6 ohm, 0.9, 1.2 ohm. Position of null point or distance of balance point, 31.2, 33, 36, 46. Right gap, 64, 62, 54, 50. I subtract them, put it in the formula of X and I get my mean value of X as 1.65. Now I have got my mean value of X here. As you can see, now I will put this mean value of X. Now what is left? What left here to find the radius of the given specimen wire. For that, I will take a screw gauge. This is what a screw gauge looks like. This is main scale of the screw gauge and this is the circular scale. Here I will insert my given specimen wire for which I have to find the radius. The wire which I have been given in the lab is of 30 centimeter. It has been given to me. Screw gauge is showing zero error. Least count of screw gauges 0 0.01 millimeter. Now when I inserted the wire in it, the main scale reading showed 0.5. Circular scale reading showed 1. So total reading is main scale reading plus circular scale reading into least count. So it is equal to 0.5 plus 1 into 0 0.01. So diameter is 0.51 divided by, uh, diameter is 0.1 millimeter. Radius becomes 0.25 millimeter. Radius is a sensitive factor in this experiment because in the formula we are taking r square. So 
This is the screw gauge reading. C main scale reading here was 0.5. And the vernier, whichever division of the circular scale, coincided with this line that much into least count. So my final calculation step is length of wire given 30 centimeter. I change it into meter. And specific resistance rho is x a upon l, where x pi r square upon l. A is area. X, the mean I found in my second table, pi 3.14 R, I have been given, uh, I found out as 0.25 millimeter. I can change it into centimeter because length here has been given to me as centimeter. That uh, you, according to my convenience, I put these values here in my formula and I get the answer for specific resistance as 107.9 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm centimeter. Standard value is 110 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter. The biggest precaution of this experiment is that radius of the wire should be measured accurately as we are taking square of radius into consideration and the null point should be found out carefully. Thank you.